Hello there, I'm Alicia Tu, and welcome to Ambie's interview with Dirty Epics. How's the band doing today? Doing really good. Thank you. That's good to hear. So uh, let's get to the questions. For those who haven't had the pleasure of hearing your music, how would you describe your sound? <laughs> I mean, we were sent these questions and we were like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> 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 The, we are like a slightly post-punk, um, quite energetic, upbeat, um, definitely a little bit of funk kind of element in our new album. And there's, um, we're definitely like a rock band as well. Though. And we've noticed that there's a fantastic music scene happening in Ireland as of right now. So how does coming from Dublin have an influence on the band? Well, I mean, it's just... I think all in all, like the last last year to two years has been a great year for Irish music full stop. I mean, you know, obviously, I guess Snow Patrol years ago, but then like you've got bands coming along nowadays, modern bands like Codaline, I think you've interviewed those guys, yeah. uh, to the Cinema Club, and the Cast of Cheers, you know, there's, there's a lot of great Irish music out there. So um, I don't know whether it's necessarily an advantage kind of coming from Dublin per se, but certainly it feels like the eyes are... are are on Ireland at the moment for, for new and every act, so. Yeah. And um, as far as your music goes, who inspires Dirty Epics as musicians and songwriters? Mm, I think it's very varied for all of us, really. What do you think, Darren? Yeah, like just sort of slightly alternative stuff. I suppose. Oh, I'm getting the shot. Anything <laughs> from sort of um, some of the LCD sound system stuff, you know, just for the energy and stuff like that, back to some of the punky stuff, even maybe Policing parts and surf rock as well. What is the latest info on the release of your latest upcoming album? Um, well, I suppose, yes, yeah, we're releasing it this Friday. Uh, we're launching it in a really great little music venue in Dublin City Centre called the Workman's Club on Thursday night. And uh, we're just doing the kind of usual promo and interviews surrounding that uh, this week and into next week. And, um, I suppose what we'd like to do is get over to the UK. We've taken a break really from gigging elsewhere over the last while because we've had so much to kind of sort of organise over here. But um, we're hoping to get back over to the UK, especially London, more in the coming months, and then Germany next, and then hopefully Canada too. Yeah, that'd be, it'd be fantastic to see you guys here. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, speaking of your gigs and gigging, what is the craziest thing to happen to you at one of your live shows? Uh, <laughs> uh, very early on when gig we were playing we had a girl kind of do a striptease in front of the stage she's a flash and, and then dancing. two minutes later an old man did the same thing no way yeah, <laughs> it was yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very entertaining wow so, that was pretty, that was pretty strange otherwise we just had some things thrown at us the odd time uh, i had a biscuit and a bra thrown at me in the same gig that was weird oh, it's some crazy uh, stuff. Quite yeah wow. so Weird. Nothing ever reaches me because these three guys are always in front, so <laughs> my gigs are always pretty safe. <laughs> All right, and um, I'd like to say that Let's Be Alone is such a cool song. What's the story behind it? Um, I guess the story behind it is um, kind of capturing that moment when, um, you know, people are going to meet, you know, and it's, I suppose capturing that chemistry and that excitement. So it's about literally going, let's be alone <laughs> together. <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I think we've, I suppose, we've written a couple of songs um, that are kind of similar, you know, like, anyway, and I always try to kind of, um, yeah, I suppose capture those moments and kind of write them down so people can um, kind of share it, you know, like, in a way, like, it can be maybe, like, a little soundtrack to something that they might have going on in their private lives or whatever, you know? Yeah, and um, you have now finished recording your video for the single Midnight Missing, so will fans be able to soon see that? Like, when is it going to be released or set up? Um, we're going to premiere it uh, the night of our launch gig uh, on Thursday, so we have all the cast and crew coming along, which would be really sweet, because everybody put in such a huge amount of effort, you know? It was like, a, I think there was over 50 cast and crew on the first day of shoot. So, um, yeah, so it's going to be a little bit controversial, quite slick, uh, quite sexy and a little bit funny as well, so I think people would really enjoy it. But um, yeah, like our director is a guy called Vincent Gallagher, he's a young Irish director who's supremely talented, like, and he's um, great fun to kind of chat to, but when he gets into work mode, it's very serious, you know, when everyone's kind of fluttering around him, and he's very quiet and he just kind of mutters to people and then things happen, you know. 
Um, so I think he's very proud of it as well. And I think it's something that people will definitely kind of like be proud to kind of show their friends and family. Hopefully their family will have to be quite open minded. though. I think. <laughs> We're looking forward to sharing that one everywhere. So, yeah, yeah. It'll- it should be up on um, like YouTube in the next kind of I think coming right, week so, anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah. awesome. And what does the band do outside of music for fun? Fun? We've no time, you know. We just found that we live in this practice room that you see right now, you know. Uh, we all enjoy a drink. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we like to go out and have a good time uh, after our shows. I knew you said before and after our shows, but it's strictly after. Our shows. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's the main hobby. Uh, anything else? Um, I have gone shooting before, clay pigeon shooting only, kind of enjoy that. And uh, I'm a makeup artist by day, so I love kind of fashion and beauty and that kind of stuff as well. So I do kind of, that's my day job, I guess. All right, and uh, for our last question, what is something about Dirty Epics that nobody knows yet? Should have thought about this one. Oh yeah, that's the one that I was like, ooh, but who's <laughs> yet? We're very open people, to be honest with you. Like, we don't hide things away. We're not a very enigmatic band, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty bold yeah, out, yeah. I guess, for once is a better word. Like, so there is really kind of nothing that people don't really know. Okay. I guess. <laughs> We're open. Nothing that is overly exciting or interesting, unfortunately. Maybe, Gary, you should make something up. We're, uh... <laughs> We're, uh... Gary is my stepson. <laughs> There. Perfect. All right. <laughs> well, I do believe that wraps up our interview. Once again, I am Alicia T from Andy, and big, big thanks to Dirty Ethics for taking taking the time to do this interview and giving us your answers. Thank you guys. Thanks so much. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye.